So now what I'm going to be talking about is the Terra Beauty uh, Soy Plant-Based Nail Polish Remover. So nail polish remover is so divisive, I guess, is a great way to put it. Um, you know, obviously we have the classic acetone nail polish removers that kind of like you know, acetone is just such a terrible, <laughs> oh my god, it's such a terrible chemical to uh, put onto your nails. It deteriorates them. It really is not good for you to soak in as well in terms of like it soaking into your skin. Um, and it really weakens your nails as well. Um, you know, before when I was talking about nails kind of growing in this like fiber like shape, right? Basically, um, what acetone does, the same way, you know, filing back and forth kind of creates splitting. Acetone does that, except, you know, when you're filing your nails, you're not filing your entire nail. When you are putting acetone on an entire nail, it is weakening, not just like the tips of it, but it's weakening the entire nail bed and, you know, really getting into every last fiber of your nail and kind of just splitting them apart from one another, which is so terrible. Like it's not something that you should be doing if you are looking to grow your natural nails. Um, even if you're not looking to grow your natural nails, it's just not healthy to do that. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of companies obviously know this and uh, have found that soy-based products, um, or at least soy-based nail polish removers, act as an amazing replacement to acetone. Um, so what's really cool, what I think is really cool about this um, nail polish remover in particular is that, you know, not only does it has, have soy in there, um, soy obviously has proteins. Uh, and so, you know, the proteins inside of the soy actually, you know, how I was talking about fibers, like the proteins actually go in and help, help to build, uh, you know, nail structure. Uh, so yeah, not only does it have soy in there, but it also has vitamins A, C, and E, which, you know, if we know anything from antioxidants in skincare, it's that vitamins A, C, and E are absolutely amazing for protecting your skin. Maybe, well, vitamin A is good at, I guess, regenerating your skin because vitamin A is retinol. Uh, but you know, vitamin C and E really, it's amazing. So the same way those vitamins work on your skin, they also work that way on your nails as well. So vitamin A is going to help, uh, essentially create new nail cells, if you will. Um, just because it promotes growth and that's just what it, what vitamin A's job is. Uh, and then, you know, you have vitamin C and E, which vitamin C helps, which nails actually go through like anti, or I guess oxidative stress uh, from free radicals. And so vitamin C is going to help protect your nails from those free radicals. And then vitamin E, which is arguably the best ingredient for nail care, um, you know, if, if you don't add anything to your nail care routine after this, but you're like, should I add just one thing? Add vitamin E. Like wherever you see vitamin E, add it in because vitamin E is just going to help you, you know, really moisturize your nail beds, which is what you need to grow nice, healthy, long strong nails. So, uh, yeah, it's awesome because like this nail polish remover, like 
it takes your nail polish off just as easily as acetone does, but it also like fortifies your nails and strengthens them. It adds protein into your nails. Like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of just like actually dumbfounded as to why, um, you know, acetone still exists and it's not all just soy based nail polish remover, but uh, that's that. I will say, however, with um, soy based nail polish removers, unfortunately, they do not remove gels. So I guess that's why acetone exists because something's got to take gel off one way or another, I suppose. But yeah, definitely, I would recommend that. Does anyone have any questions about that? Because I know I just spit out a lot of, like, proteins and vitamin A and C and E and acetone. Okay. Okie dokie. So, 